So this is the Aglalia floor lamp. I just wanted to do a follow-up on this because it's a great lamp. It's got four different light settings. And of those light settings, you got three different color settings. You can go toward the more red hue if you're reading. You can go toward the more blue hue during the day to make it easier for you to see. You can turn it to whatever level fits you really well. If you just need a little bit of light to read in the middle of the night while someone's sleeping or early morning, or if you want it bright during the day. So it works great for that. I just wanted to share one thing about it. So my son is around two years old and he picks at everything. And so he kept playing with this lamp. So, if you see right here, the buttons are now missing. Well, it turns out these aren't stickers. These are the pr uh, these are actually printed on. The printing doesn't go well. You see these labels and such, and if you actually take your thumb, you could actually rub the ink off right there. Some people might find that it's not worth it to get this, but it is something to know if you're gonna purchase it. Also, it seems like some of the white paint is starting to rub off as well. So the whole paint covering on this, especially if you got young kids, probably not a good idea. Also, over here on the stand part. So here on the stand part, you got this weird little hook and you've got the, the bendy part here. The big problem is is that you keep trying to pick it up by this or you bend and quite often, oh, it doesn't do, this time it found, got set right. Quite often when you try to pick it up, it comes apart right here. Apparently, I, we finally got it set hard enough in there by taking it away from the kids that uh, it's set in there, but it's hard to get set in there right and tends to fall apart when you try to move the head around. So, Two negatives that we've learned about after considerable use of this that you may want to take into account if you're going to get one of these.